Hello everybody, Grips here and thanks for joining me as you do. So recently I ran a small poll asking you what is it you want to learn from Video Studio and most had requested better editing tips. So in this video I'm going to give you four editing tips and stay around and we'll show you at the end how you can use one of those editing tips with your transparency layers. Well I said tips but actually I meant four editing modes and which modes am i talking about these guys right up here so this one here is the slip mode this is the stretch this is the roll and this is the slide now these are all trimming modes so what we'll do is we're going to grab a clip and put it on the timeline but it only works with clips that are trimmed so if you double click and then you get into your trimming window as you can see i've already uh, trimmed this clip so this clip originally was very long and all I wanted was about 11 seconds worth, which is just the beginning. I press OK. I bring that into the timeline and now I can start using these trim modes. So the first one here is very simple. It's a slip mode. You will notice on my preview window, I actually have the indicator there that says this is the only part of the video that I wish to view. But imagine you wanted to move this, not change the timeline or the, 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 length, the length of the timeline, You'd rather just want to move this down the timeline. And that's what this little guy does, slip. You click on it until it goes blue, and you put it on your clip, and you'll see your cursor changes to a left and right arrow. Now watch my preview window as I move this slider along. It's going to place this new, or the, the original one where it was 11 seconds, along the timeline where I want it to be. And this could save a lot of time in case you're thinking, Oh, I just needed to move it a couple of frames. Well, instead of going back into the trim option, you can use this little guy here to adjust it exactly where you want. Stretch mode is a very easy tool to use. I'm just going to uncheck this. Normally, what you want to do, if we want to change the speed of the clip, make it slower or faster, we would right click and then go to speed and then choose one of these options. Now, if you're an absolute beginner, that can be overwhelming and all you wanted to do was just change the speed of the clip. Well, that's what trim mode, oh, stretch mode does. Click it until it's blue and then you move your cursor to the end of the clip and now it turns to a left and right arrow inside a box and that literally indicates stretching your clip. So if I move it forward like this, I'm actually going to slow down the clip. So I want it to slow down by say 50%. I've got absolute position control on this. And in this video. Yep, sound drunk. And I can do the opposite as well. I can drag it the other way and speed it up. So I might speed it up to say 200%. There you go. Now I'm going to sound probably like a guinea pig. There you go. So this is what it does. So these little guys up here, they help you edit your clip faster and with more position. Roll mode is probably going to be your go-to mode, and I'll show you why. So the current project on my timeline is 16 seconds. Now what I like to do is I want to make this clip longer and this clip shorter, but I don't want to increase or decrease the timeline. If I did it the conventional way by just clicking and dragging this down, I'm going to create also a transition and my clip length has been shortened. This is not what I'm after. With the roll edit, what I can do, I can increase the frame size of one and decrease the frame size of another. So it's in actuality a dual edit. So let's highlight that here. I'm going to drag this down. Actually, what I'll do first, what I'll do first, I'll create a chapter point. Let's say I want, and it's going to, it's going to look, I want this to start on this one here. So C to create the chapter point. And now I'm just going to drag this cursor all the way to the chapter point and release. So I created no transition. All I've done is shorten the length of this clip and increase the length of this clip while staying within that 16 seconds. Slide mode is very similar to your roll mode. Roll mode is a dual edit. Slide mode is a triple edit. So I've got three clips on my timeline. The entire length is 32 seconds. I don't want to change the length of the timeline. All I want to do is place this clip on a different part of the timeline. So Let's uh, highlight slide mode and all I'm going to do is highlight the middle clip and I can move this anywhere I want without changing the length of the entire project. Let's say I just want it here and I can release. Everything will adjust accordingly. So this one has then increased in frame size and this one has then decreased in frame size and this one maintains the exact same frame size. 
So that's what the slide mode does. It allows you to do triple edits, triple edits the, at the same time. So I'll give you a quick demo of how I would apply some of these trim modes. So I want to create the classic J cut, and I can do that very, very quickly by using the roll edit. So I've got a clip here on my timeline. I'm going to split my audio first, split my audio. And what I want to do is the classic J cut by actually having the audio of the second clip come in before the end of the first clip finishes. And how I do that, simple, using the roll edit tool, right? Here we go. All I'm going to do is now click and drag it. And voila, I have done exactly what I wanted in less than a few seconds. If I now play it, you'll see that this clip will start fading out and then this music from this clip will cut in and that's the classic J cut. There you go. Now, what happens if I want it to be a little bit more fancy? Like, uh, let's just unhighlight this. I want it to fade the clip out and then fade this clip in. So it's a nice blend transition. I can do this way, uh, fade out and then on this clip fade in obviously and we'll see what happens you'll see that this will start to slowly fade out now that's great and all but what happens if i want it to fade in earlier or later because i don't have control on that if i apply the standard fx filter that the video studio supplies so i'm i'm going to remove that filter i'm just going to highlight my click and if you didn't know you can actually change your filters here you highlight on the star or you click it now this filter tells you what filters you've added. So you may have added 10 filters, but you just wanted to uh, see which filters you've added, or you want to delete which filter you want. So filter, I've only got one simple fade. Let's remove that, That's in case you didn't know. So I'm now going to go into the uh, transparency window, and I will create my own fade in, fade out. So let's say, for instance, oh, I wanted to start you, fading you, out you. here. I will then highlight here by, by adding a keyframe, and I'm gonna do another one right here, and I'm gonna drag it all the way down to zero, like so. So that means it's gonna come along this uh, timeline and then just gradually fade down into the opacity of zero. And I can do the same thing here. I might then start fading it back out. There we go. And then right here is a good place to do it. And that means I'm gonna drag the clip all over the top, like so. Now I've created my own fade in and fade out exactly how I want it. Click anywhere here. Let's have a look. Time saver. Here you go. And that's how we use the transparency window with your trim modes. So there you go. I hope uh, we've all learned something from that. And as always, thanks for watching.